joke. <laughs> Sun it out every day since I've been here. <laughs> Who's that? Got a lot of guys uh, missing. Running backs, linemen. Any, anything serious? No, I don't uh, address any injuries. That's all. Coach Moore, a question. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Rosen looked like he's uh, today had a really good day. Yeah. It, today was a good day for him and for the offense in terms of catching the ball well and making some plays down the field. And Josh seemed real confident in his throws. Yeah. Probably would be the word that comes to mind, you know, when you step in and you feel comfortable um, making those tight throws and tight windows. And, um, you know, kind of had a nice little bounce to his step. So that, that was nice to see. And I think Monster had a pretty good day today, too. I think uh, so that was fun. And, Receivers, I was happy with the way the receivers caught the ball. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of room to improve. We got to get a lot better. But um, it was a good start today. Pabico is the guy that's kind of came out of nowhere. What, what have you liked about him um, and, and what he's shown you? Well, we like guys that do things right, you know, that are going to be studying really hard at night, that are going to focus in on the details of the game. He's going to make sure that mentally he's in the right spot at the right time and then make the catch. And he's been very consistent in camp over the course of the seven days. And he actually was consistent in the spring and did a nice job in the spring, but has really just battled, battled, battled and kind of scraped and clawed his way up to, uh, you know, to the, into the discussion. So it's been fun to see him and, um, I mean, he's a well-built guy, he can block, he's six feet tall, so he's a, he's a good receiver for us. How much does it help the offense to go against uh, the quality of defense that you have? A lot, a lot. Um, now this is my uh, third year in a row having to do that. You know, we had a great defense in Michigan the last two years as well. And um, every day when you go on the field, every day is a battle. So it really makes it fun to, um, you know, scrap and claw and go against really, really good corners, you know, and really good defensive linemen. And, and you really know you're going against a really good Pac-12 defense, so you can kind of measure what your team looks like and measure, you know, where we are offensively and where we need to be. And, and you know, they're now in year three in the exact same system and year six with, a, you know, with Coach Mora. So, they, you know, you kind of know what you're getting defensively. And uh, it's a great measuring stick for our offense. If you look at your offense, from a volume standpoint, how does it um, You know, we're, we're, there's obviously certain things that you kind of progress your way into. You know, I think it kind of depends on what team I was at. Um, when I was in Jacksonville, you know, we had a rookie quarterback. So you kind of have to, you know, minimize your volume there as well. And, you know, kind of have it more in that. Um, you know, try to give him the best chance to succeed without asking him to do a million things. Um, when you're in the same system for five years or eight years or ten years, you keep adding and adding and adding. Um, you know, we were year one. Year one with Blake. Year one with Chad. So uh, here, you know, it's year one, so you kind of have to find that balance. But right now, we've thrown a lot at these guys. We've thrown a pretty hefty NFL playbook at them. And, uh, and with that, they've, uh, they've embraced it. But, you know, they also understand, and we understand as coaches that come, you know, the first game, you're back to 20 hours. So you have to, you know, manage that versus a 45 plus hours are, uh, game. Are there any benefits, do you think, for you personally, having going to a new quarterback, to a new quarterback, and then again a new quarterback instead of being with one guy for yeah, several years? Yeah, a lot of new quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. Really, really hoping for two years with this one, though. <laughs> Tell you that, write that. Um, so you know, it's uh, it's a situation where you do you learn how to adapt quickly into kind of having a feel on what these guys can and can't handle. Versus, you know, you just say hypothetically, you're coming from a place where you've had the same quarterback for a six-year run in the NFL, you know, or a whatever amount of year run if you're in Green Bay, or if you're in New England, or if you're in Indianapolis, right? You know, or if you're at a place where you're starting your guy in your third or fourth year, we kind of have a good idea of what they can handle. And um, trust me, it's been try and fail now too, you know, from 09. It's been a new quarterback every year starting in 2009. So I understand sometimes when we ask them to do too much, I understand sometimes when we probably get too tight, so I think we're getting closer to having a pretty good feel out of here.
explore say that a lot of the coaches went on professional development things over the summer. What were some of the things that you kind of got done? Um, I was fortunate enough to spend uh, a few days with the Patriots, with Belichick, um, a few days with the Dolphins, with Coach Gase, one of my closest friends. Um, I went up to the Rams with Coach McVay, Sean and I. Uh, know each other for a very long time. That's been fun. Um, up to San Francisco, Kyle and Mike Shanahan, both of them were up there. And Kyle and I have known, you know, I worked for Mike, so uh, I was able to visit, I think, five NFL teams. Um, I was at two training camps with the Dolphins and with the uh, Pats. Um, it, it's been, uh, it was fun. It was a great experience. And, you know, all those guys have been amazing. Uh, mentors and friends, and also great people to bounce ideas off of. Any other questions? Great. Thank you. Okay.